channel my name is amber and this is amber next door before we get started into today's video be sure to hit the subscribe button and become a lifelong neighbor of the amber next door i would love to have you guys forever and ever hit the notification bell so you know when the amber next door is coming to your door like this video up comment down below and share with your family and friends did i forget to say like like this video up so that other people of all the other YouTube communities can come across Amber Next Door and we can all be one happy family. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Okay, you guys, um, I'm probably late to the game for the for my YouTube content, but not really because we all know if you're a neighbor here at Amber Next Door, if you're brand new, Amber Next Door is every Wednesday now at 6 p.m. So, from last week's upload up until now, a lot has happened in America, a lot has happened in the world. We are now on quarantine. Um, inside of our houses, we're being forced to stay in. A lot of us are working from home because of this virus that is going around. So my prayers and thoughts go out to all of your families who are affected um, in any way, negatively. Um, I, would, I guess it wouldn't be positive, would it? But yeah, um, my heart goes out. Um, and yeah, we're all in this together, right? So, I mentioned a couple of videos back, well, last video you guys saw me eat a keto pizza from Blaze Pizza, and I, the video before that, I showed you guys that I'm starting a keto. Um, so I've been on my keto journey, and then this happened, right? And when you're inside, you tend to, I don't know about you guys, but I want to snack a lot, a lot. I just want to just eat just because I'm bored, and that's no bueno on keto. That's no bueno, especially when you want all the bad stuff. Okay, yeah, especially when, when you want all the bad stuff. So I was like, oh my God, I'm about to fall off a of keto. Mind you, I've already down six, six or seven pounds, give or take, <laughs> the time of day. So I'm feeling really good. It's already, it's pretty like two and a half weeks. So I'm feeling really, really good. And I just wanna stay on this keto train as long as I can. So today I'm sharing with you um, how I'm surviving quarantine on keto. Um, a lot of these are like my period cravings. A lot of them are just things I crave, uh, whether it's salty, whether it's sweet. So I wanna share with you guys how I'm surviving. If you're still able to get out um, to the grocery stores and um, shop however way you can, whether it's Instacart, delivery, or actually going, if there's, a, if there's not a curfew in your neighborhood, um, I would de definitely recommend these products. Of course, when you invest and anything is gonna cost. So a lot of these aren't um, budget savvy friendly. Uh, they are, they, they do, they do cost a little bit of a penny, a pretty penny, but it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I invested into it. Um, yeah, I just see it as investing in my body because I really want to be great. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. None of these are um, ranking, they're just sitting here and I'm gonna just take off so nothing falls. So, yeah, let's go. First, I have these. These are the Poro Artisanal, Artisanal Fried Pork Rinds <laughs> uh, and the Smoky Black Pepper and Sea Salt flavor. I got these. Um, I butchered that. It's pork with a Q. <clears throat> from my Walmart, my local Walmart. Uh, they say new on them. I don't know. Pork rinds are great on keto because they're so high in fat. That's basically what they are. They're just fat. Uh, zero uh, carbohydrates. Um, a serving size is about uh, 80 calories. Pork rinds are gonna get you through because I always want something crunchy and salty and instead of potato chips, pork rinds on keto are gonna be your best bet. I like this brand because this smoky black pepper and sea salt flavor is much better than the other brand that I shared in my other um, during keto haul. These, the, the flavor is really packed in there and all the way, it's like on each single um, pork rind. So I really like these a lot. I'm gonna be going back to get more. I believe these are 199. If I can find them, I'll link them down below so you guys can shop online however you wanna do it. But yeah, they're definitely saving me on quarantine. Next, I have Lily's, these Lily's dark chocolate baking chips. Now, I don't know what girl does, or anyone, who doesn't like chocolate? Especially dark, I love, dark chocolate is my favorite, favorite of sweets. And especially if I'm in my cycle, 
or anything like that, I really want dark chocolate. The Lily's dark chocolate baking chips are 50% cocoa and they're stevia sweetened, so they're keto approved. Um, you can use these if you wanna make a keto chocolate chip cookies or any recipe that requires these, but I low-key just like to eat them as is, you know, um, measure some out in a little container and eat these as a snack. Um, so yeah, these, um, about $2.99 or $3, maybe up to the $3.99s at Walmart, but again, I'll try to look it down below. Of course, Amazon has them, but a, a lot of places are being uh, like shut down. So hopefully when it's all done, you guys can still um, do keto and take it from me and my snacks. Okay, okay so next, um, I don't know about you guys, but when I started keto, I was really worried about not being able to have cereal. I was looking at all different types of um, recipes on Pinterest, how to make my own cereal, like for real. I was really like, I want, I love cereal. Um, you know, sometimes you're just in that mood, like on the Saturday morning, you just watch cartoons, some cereal, some milk, that's all you really want. And I came across this brand. One second. Ugh. So I came across this brand, Catalina Crunch, and these are, uh, and they literally say right on the front, keto. Keto friendly cereal, keto friendly cereal. I got them in two different flavors. I got the dark chocolate, and this, you guys, paired with my um, my Atkins shakes, this literally tastes like cookies and cream. Like, delicious. It's not gonna be as sweet as like um, Cocoa Puffs, but I don't need all that sweetness. I, this tastes exactly like cookies and cream. Um, and then I have cinnamon toast flavor. I love cinnamon toast crunch. I like to pair this with those shakes. If not, your regular unsweetened almond milk, vanilla almond milk is delicious as well. You can put a little bit of monk fruit sweetener. Um, if you guys remember, go back to my last uh, Dirty Keto haul and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. It sweetens it right up, a dash of cinnamon in there to, make it, to give it an extra kick. But yeah, I'm still eating cereal on keto you guys this is from whole foods now this brand it, i'm to, to me it looks expensive it does and it is um these run for about 8.99 a pop <laughs> and i have um amazon prime and so if you didn't know if you have amazon prime you can go into whole foods and use that so definitely look out for sales if you're going to be doing this but um i had to stock up on this when i found out i'll be working from home all the way until april and I was like, oh no, this, I'm, I'm gonna need my snacks. So yeah, uh, Calia Crunch, definitely worth it. And I realized, um, one thing I realized on keto is like, I'm not as hungry. I'm not, I do, I get full fast and a lot, it doesn't take much to fill me up. A cute little bowl of this goes a long way. So I think I got about three bags of these or four bags of these to get me through. Um, next, speaking of cookies and cream, um, I got this Quest Bar. These Quest Bars by, um, where did I get these from? Um, you can get these anywhere. 7-Eleven, Wawa's, Walmart's, Target's. Just look it up on, you know, what, what store you want to get it from. But the Quest Bars are, key, are keto friendly. They're high in protein, low in carbs. This one, it has 21 grams of protein, 4 grams net uh, carbs, and 1 gram of sugar, 15 grams of fiber. And I like these a lot. I don't, usually I don't even eat the whole bar. I just eat half of it because they're so, their consistency is so dense. But I think these are a great treat. Um, if you know, if you're in a mood for cookies or anything like that after a meal and it fits in your macros, I would definitely get the Quest brand of anything. And speaking of Quest brand, um, I have these, these Quest um, tortilla style protein chips and a nacho cheese flavor. I bought, a, they come in four packs. Sometimes they come in single packs, but I got the four packs from Target. Um, they run about $7 a pack of four. Um, I like to get this if I go to Chipotle and I get the keto bowl and I want chips, I get this. If I want to make my own at home uh, nachos, I definitely go for these as well. So these are delicious. They have crunch, they just like nacho cheese. Haven't tried any of the other flavors. They have ranch, they have zesty. I don't have a pino. They have a whole bunch of other different flavors, but I chose classic nacho cheese because I'm a classic kind of girl. That was corny, but whatever. <laughs> Next, um, on the crunchy, still on the crunchy side, but I'm gonna move for chips. Uh, you guys saw this in, um, uh-oh, another calorie crunch. <laughs> 
Um, you guys saw this in my last haul with the Whisk brand. I had the plain uh, cheddar cheese, but I came across these flavors. Bacon barbecue and tomato basil. Delicious, you guys. When you just keep that that cheddar base, I don't like the parmesan or anything like that. I just like the plain cheese. And then when they add the seasoning on it, delicious. They just come in handy when you want something crunchy. And they satisfy that chip craving for sure. And so sometimes I want chocolate, sometimes I want gummy bears and something sweet and sour and things like that. So I came across this brand that I'm so excited about because I was like, there's no, what am I gonna do when I wanna go to the movies? When I wanna just like, uh, again, if I'm on my cycle or anything like that, what am I gonna do? I love gummy bears. I love them so much. I came across this brand, y'all. Smart Sweets. You guys, Smart Sweets. Um, they make like keto friendly, Sweetest fish, keto friendly gummy bears, peach rings, and the ones I got are the sour gummy bears, the fruity gummy bears, and the um, sweet fish gummy bears. Sweetest fish ones. So my favorite one already, I already know, is the um, sweetest fish ones. But you guys, these are so good. Let me just uh, break it down to you. Each pack, each bag, you can have the whole bag and not feel guilty. Is um, three grams of sugar, 80 calories for the whole pack. Um, like I said, oh, three grams of sugar. And then the net carbs, so there's fiber, the fiber is 28 grams, and the total total carbohydrates are 35 grams. So that that's what seven net carbs. If you are really in the mood, like if you just can't help yourself, I would definitely recommend this brand right here because oh uh, I guess the sour is 90 calories. So the same thing the carbs and sugar, and so is the gummy So yes, the lower carbs are the Sweet fish, um, so good. Oh, it's, and it's plant-based, I didn't realize that. So it is plant-based. These come in clutch. I got a whole bunch of these. I might go get some more. They run for about $2.99, $3.99 at Whole Foods. And if you go have a giant, your local giant, or AKA Stop and Shop, depending on um, where you're at on the map, um, I would definitely recommend these because once again, on keto, I'm not as hungry. I don't crave as much, but sometimes you do want something sweet. A couple of these, a couple of these from the whole pack, just um, get that craving. You know what I'm saying? They satisfy that craving. So definitely recommend these if you're on um, keto quarantine. Next and certainly not least, you guys. Oh, I just feel like this is everybody. Who doesn't love pasta? Who doesn't love bread, rice? That is me. That is me. I, I, I've been, you know, cauliflower ricing like myself to death. I've been making like um, 90 second bread with almond flour and all these things. I've been, I've been cooking. I've been whipping it up in the kitchen, y'all. And it's, it's a lot of work on keto, which I like. I like that I'm cooking. I like that I'm being creative with my recipes. I just love it all. But I came across another brand. The Sola Bread brand. You guys, they have buns. They have regular sandwich style bread. You can eat this on keto. Obviously, all these things I'm mentioning, you don't want to go overboard and just eat the whole thing every single day. Except for these gummy bears. I would definitely eat that. And those pack of chips in the Quest Bar. But you don't want to go overboard and just eat all your snacks in one city. And I, of course, like I said, I'm going to keep repeating this. On keto, you won't. But yeah, this Sola bread, I have a golden wheat only because I couldn't find the buns that I wanted. Cause I really like to make, um, I love sandwiches. I love grilled cheese. I love Philly stick and cheeses. I love all those things. So I came across Sola, Sola bread. I found this at my local Harris Teeter. Um, they might have it in your Safeways, maybe your Stop and Shop or Giant. You just gotta look um, on their website and see where they have it at Chores. Mine was here at Cedar. Again, another investment product because you're either gonna make your own bread with those ingredients with almond flour, baking powder, coconut flour, all those other things, or you can just go buy a loaf. And I bought two of these loaves because I'm not gonna eat sandwiches every day while I'm quarantined, but you guys, Three grams, I know you're like, hurry up and get to the, get to the back rows. Three grams of net carbs. Each slice, it's 60 calories. Um, total of one gram of sugar. 
So you guys, that's what? 120 calories for a, if you add it to a sandwich. Um, let's see, let's see. Six grams of net carbs if you do a whole sandwich. And you don't even have to do all that. But yeah, add up like the cheese in there, some meat, whatever. And you're good to go. I think today later I'm actually gonna do like a keto stick and cheese later. I really might because I deserve it. <laughs> I just deserve it. <laughs> okay, you guys, that's it for my survival keto survival kit on quarantine. My quarantine keto survival kit. <laughs> that's what we're gonna call this video. My quarantine keto survival kit. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely get these products. I recommend all of them. And I'm my palette is not the most sophisticated. It's not, you know, it's you gonna like what I like. <laughs> so yeah, definitely get these. They'll be linked down below if I can find them. The cheapest one, you know, I got you. Um, before we go, hit the subscribe button. Become a lifelong neighbor of Amber Nance Door. Do it right now. Let's just subscribe. Just subscribe to Amber Nance Door. Like, comment down below if you're on keto and if this convinced you to start keto or if you're just gonna start making little changes throughout your week and your diet. Um, share with your family and friends. Like, like it up, like it up. And hit the notification bell so you know when Amber Nance Store is coming to your door. And that's about it. See ya. I'll see you guys next Wednesday in the house. <laughs> Bye. Hey girl, bring it back, 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 back,